Good morning. We are going to head over to the mercantile right now with a couple of our team members and just get everything all lifted, you know, rugs and stuff like that. We have, they're going to shut the water off on um, the island here, they said this afternoon, and then mandatory evacuations have come in, um, they said I think that's 10 a.m. this morning. When that happens, um, you can stay, um, but you just have to know that they're going to shut the power off, they're going to shut the water off, so then you have to deal with the repercussions of that, so no AC, and it's not cold even though I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Um, and no water and then you don't know how long there has been times where they've shut the water off for this and then it's been you know there would be like a boiling water effect advisory so you have to boil your water and the water is like not good quality so we are most likely gonna leave I don't know where we're gonna go yet but right now we're just gonna focus on our businesses and then we'll worry about where we're gonna go after this is what I was talking about yesterday or whenever that was two days ago it hasn't even rained yet but there's drains right here and this is already flooded so basically this whole neighborhood will be underwater tomorrow first rodeo here sarah our manager was already here super early getting things up off the ground um we will remove our rugs all this stuff all cords up this will come up we're getting ready i mean based off of the numbers that we're seeing like it's pretty certain that we're going to flood in here. All the coffee stuff off the ground, all of our appliances we have lifted off of the ground, they're all on cinder blocks now. So we've definitely learned our lesson there because that has cost us a lot of money and a lot of surprises over the time that we've been open. Um, and then all of our shipping stuff is in bins or off of the ground now. Outside here we do do sandbags, we'll definitely put them, our most prone spot and lowest spot here is this area this little spot right here is our like shipping room garage and it's just sloped down and from every angle it just floods it doesn't matter what we do but we will still put sandbags so we're trying um the the, the rule for like hurricanes and storms is you um hide from the wind and you run from the, the water and this is good for us here is going to be a big water one this is not going to be a big wind one so I'm not really worried about like plants, like well, there'll be debris and stuff, but the water is gonna be our biggest thing. We have our little already at the top, so pretty much just guarantee, not trying to be negative, I'm just trying to be real, um, that we will flood here, but we're gonna be good. It'll be all good, we'll recover. Quick, great question somebody just asked is how do you deal with potential mold issues with the water if you're flooding all the time um, so the way that it works because we're not flooding from rain necessarily where it's raining and then not draining and we're stuck with the rain in the water for a long time we're getting it from surge we're getting it from um, the high tides so that means that the water is coming in and then going out or it's coming up and then going down so it's here and then gone pretty quickly within like you know 12 to 24 hours that's at least what has happened um and then we just come in with dehumidifiers big fans cleaning like crazy and most of our building is made out of cinder blocks so we're pretty good with that stuff and then we have a couple walls of drywall we have had to replace the bottom level and you can check for mold and things like that it's much difficult if your house is obviously made out of drywall and i'm yeah it's it's a lot worse his life is So house stuff is running the last load of laundry, running the dishwasher since they're gonna sh shut the power off here, bringing up all, like moving all the plants inside. Not really worried about the wind. Um, as you can see, obviously we have water in the back of our house. So this will definitely come up, but we don't really flood here like crazy or we haven't. It's definitely come up to like this line here at the worst of it, where our elevation is a little bit higher here. Um, 
but right outside of our house, I'll take you guys over. Last time we had a storm, the kids actually took the paddle boards right outside of our neighborhood where I was showing that it floods outside of there. They paddle boarded through the neighborhood all the way down. We went on a Broadway. Yeah, all the way down to where the Bay Area is. And they had an adventure, but then also it was really great. They actually were able to help. So they took the paddle boards and they paddle boarded through the neighborhood and boats had come up from the bay and they saved, they were able to help some neighbors push the boats back into the water. They were blocking the streets. So they got to be good neighbors and helpers and go on an adventure. They loved paddle boarding through the street. Um, but we're not gonna do that this time. And we'll probably come back because we'll check on everything, but we have the Jeep so we can get through a bunch. We won't flood here. We're so high off the ground. Um, it would take a lot, like it would, it would be catastrophic. Um, so at least we have one spot that we don't have to worry about. And then the inn is also raised a little bit higher. We put sandbags along the doors there, um, but it just isn't in a spot where it really usually floods. So thank God for that too. Very, very happy. But we found an Airbnb in a non-flood zone in Bradenton. So about like 10, 15 minutes away. And we're gonna go there and then we'll just come back probably tomorrow, Friday for sure. And just check on things and see, see how it goes. We are now officially in Hurricane House, settled in here. Um, our friends are gonna come here with their um, daughter and her husband, um, cause they're evacuated too. So we are gonna share this house with them. Just got some groceries, it's starting to rain and thunder out there. Brooke just wrote me, she's like, do we have another hammock for the inn? I thought we had one in the garage. I was like, I thought we did, but I don't know. She's like, well, we're gonna need one cause ours just blew away. I was like, gone like the hammock is gone how, how does that happen so it has begun here hey love what are you doing well i was blending the coffee beans and then i went to pick up the blender and why why'd you put all those on all over the counter. Bottom fell out. Bottom? I don't even know where to start from here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you go. Oh.